Remember that no one can see your page drafts until they are published. You can find your page drafts by selecting Recent in the main navigation bar. Then, Drafts. And select the page to open it. I'm feeling pretty good about this page, so let's publish it. Just like you did in Confluence previously, select the Published button at the top right. Now this page is visible to everyone in the space. Let's go back into edit mode and I'll show you some additional publishing options. In cloud, all of your publishing options are within this More Actions menu near the top right. First is publishing without notifying watchers. This is my favorite option to select any time I make quick edits to a page. It prevents Confluence from sending email notifications to all of your teammates. I promise, they will appreciate that. Publish with version comment allows you to display a comment in the page history in case you need to give your audience more information. You can also schedule publish, which means you select the day and time you want this content to be published. And you also have the option to publish this content as a blog instead of a page. For this example, let's publish without notifying watchers. Confluence defaults to new pages being open for anyone to see and edit. Sometimes you'll want to control who can and cannot see your pages. You can change this by selecting the lock icon at the top right of your screen. Right now, anyone on Confluence can view and edit this page. To change this, select this dropdown. Here you have a few permissions options. You can change this so only some people can edit, or restrict your page to only specific people. This bottom option is best if you want to make your page private so only you can see it. Once selected, Confluence lists you as the only person who can edit. Everyone else has no access. Make sure you select Apply, and that's it. Permissions updated. The lock icon now indicates this page is restricted. Well done. Hey, you want to earn a free badge for completing this training? Take this course on the Atlassian University website. Click here or check the link in the description to get started. See you over there.